Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to today's morning report with me, Rich Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets on Thursday the 23rd of October. Uh, these European markets have started slightly on the back foot, although um, to be honest the, the DAX has actually rebounded quite strongly in the early minutes. Um, equity indices were down almost 1% early on but uh, the DAX has just rebounded and I believe well I'd imagine that that has come on the back of pretty decent uh, showing on the Germany flash PMI that has come in better than expected and um, it had been actually and uh, expected to come in just slightly into contraction territory 49.5 but it actually posted a 51.8 uh, reading which is actually fairly pretty positive actually and certainly the DAX has reacted strongly to the on the back of that. Um, the uh, the correction early on was due to the uh, Wall Street indices closing lower, a little bit of profit taking but I mean the uh, just reading overnight the the, um, the excuse was given to this uh, little bit of terror the terrorist uh, shooting in Canada cr producing a bit of a flight to safety but nothing major really um, and I don't think that that's expected to really make much of an impact going forward so uh, just a bit of profit taking on the S&P 500 down 0.7% but yeah these European indices are starting to move higher on the back of this German PMI data Ch uh, addition to in addition to that Chinese flash PMI came in slightly better expected as well um, beating expectations uh, of 50.2 up to 50.4 the uh, the um, the number came out France just slightly missed though but throughout the day we've got a load of uh, economic data that we're going to be watching out for and um, that could run these markets um, but what we're starting off with is these uh, is this dollar um, that's starting to break out uh, it had been in this corrective downtrend channel it's now starting to break out once more it had a strong day yesterday and a decent uh, opening to today's move um, and uh, these forex pairs many of which are coming back to or had been uh, testing key supports and um, this uh, German flash PMI data has helped to support the likes of the euro and also sterling um, but it just looks as though these uh, key supports are under pressure I'll focus on that in a little bit um, in the other charts but um, certainly today we could have a, a, a fairly volatile day because the, of the poor because uh, the uh, large amount of data that we've got coming out so uh, in uh, first of all uh, that starts off with the um, UK retail sales that comes out at 9.30 3.4% the expectation there just slightly down from 4.5 but then we move into the US in the afternoon and um, we've got jobless claims at 1.30 that is um, expected to come in at, in at uh, just slightly higher 2, 282 up from the record low of 264 that we had last time what a number that was but um, then into the uh, further into the afternoon we've got the US flash manufacturing PMI data as well and uh, it comes out at uh, 245 UK time and uh, expected to just slightly contract or slightly fall back to 50.0 in the uh, on the number there so uh, just a lot of numbers out today out today throughout the day um, and that could result in a fair bit of chopping and changing in these um, in these markets but uh, it certainly looks like the eurozone um, the uh, eurozone economic indice uh, sorry the eurozone indices <laughs> sorry I got that um, in the end um, the eurozone indices DAX has certainly reacted positively to that German flash PMI data so that moves me on to my chart of the day which is silver now I've been pretty disappointed actually in silver anyone who's been following my gold commentary would have known that gold has broken out the, uh, above its equivalent reaction low um, of June 2014 uh, the, the equivalent of this low here at uh, 18 spot 6 on silver on gold is at 1240 and that's 1240 is basically where gold is trading at the moment so silver is way down from that uh, from that level significantly below that sort of um, that and just suggests that, um, a major underperformance of silver versus gold silver remains in this big downtrend and has once again pulled away off this downtrend It's actually just really consolidating in a sideways range over the past three weeks and um, you'd say it's not really gone anywhere between that 17 uh, 17 bucks up to 1780 level so uh, it's um, it's not really done a great deal at all this is the uh, hourly chart over the past month 
and certainly it looks like um, it's sort of towards the lows of this range and actually looks like it could be testing the bottoms as well 17 bucks is the low if it does break below 17 bucks it could, could quite come quite quickly back towards 1666 which is that key low that uh, we saw uh, in early October October the 6th but as I said this big downtrend in place with all the moving averages falling momentum indicators just again turning over with this consol consolidation MACD lines below neutral RSI falling on over under 50 again it's just pretty much across the board a pretty bearish picture and just looks like we're going to be testing that uh, 1666 level in due course if you're going to see see this as a read through to gold that's not all that positive either for gold although that the um the gold silver ratio continues to move strongly higher but uh, certainly it doesn't look great for silver at the moment anyway i wish you good luck in your trading today and i will speak to you later thank you